got something that I really want to say. Sometimes things just won't go your way. But don't you worry when this... Guys and girls, welcome back. This is I, Archie from Archie's Orchids. And uh, today uh, we are in the grow room. I just got home from school, which is great because no one likes school properly. What? Um, <laughs> but I'm in a really good mood because I'm looking through the greenhouse and thinking, oh, what's that purpley, reddy colour? And we all know the colour of a Bob Phylum orchid, which is purpley, reddy colour with purple spots. Well, that's the specific species, but it looks like it's just open today. Coming up, the grand Bulbophyllum and Bellatum, ooh, that flicker from the light. I will take her out and we'll do an orchid spotlight. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> so, there you have it. Bulbophyllum and Bellatum. Well, I think that's the tag. Um, I'm not sure if it has been mislabeled or not. But I have typed in Bulbophyllum and Bellatum on Google Images and it has come up with this specific bloom. Um, I'm very proud of myself for not breaking off the spike <laughs> as I got it out of the greenhouse because those of you that know me know I have a tendency to break off spikes off of orchids. Um, I recently, well, recently saying as in a month ago, broke a spike, well, I think it was a spike or even a growth. I broke some off my um, Bulbophyllum craspies, uh, which is sad, but I'm really happy now because it's kind of like pruning a rose. It's grown back with two more growths of the same type. So if we've got two blooms, that'd be great. If we've got two growths, that'd be even greater. But yeah, so we have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Bulbophyllum. I really love these uh, umbellatum type, umbellatum, not umbellatum. These like uh, dangly down type flowers. I thought I'd try and bring you in a tad, we need a bit closer. Uh, so you can see the flower here, if you blow on it. You have the moving lip, which is super cool. Uh, this orchid isn't fragranced at all. Um, which is a shame because I'm going to get a really disgusting smelling orchid like fun, like my Nymphopolitanum when I think that's in the spike. I'll show you that in a minute. But this beauty, oh, the blooms look like they have just opened today because you've still got some in half bud here. As you can see, the lip hasn't properly uncurled yet. I'm really pleased about this because uh, I went to Lanzarote, as some of you may know, and this orchid bloomed while I was there. So I had two spikes on this one, the second spike. Um, but I got home and lucky for me I cycled over my mum's house to see what was going on because I knew it was in bloom because my mum sent me a picture uh, and I got back and the flowers were on there looking a bit wilted and faded and think ah oh, still I saw it which was cool but then the next day I got round uh, and all the blooms had fallen off so it's lucky that I went round on the day we got back to England because I wouldn't have seen this beauty for another week otherwise and it also is very very good timing because I have an orchid society meeting uh, on Sunday and um, they do a table display. So we will all take our plants and show off our plants. Uh, so I have this orchid here and I am gonna be well proud to display this at the table display. As you can see, the plant is growing out of its pot quite severely. Uh, so it's gonna need a repot. I have got a pot over there, that basket I got from a, a pond shop. But we, it's just beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'll put this beauty back in. No, I'll leave her out actually because it's cooler out here and hopefully the blooms will last longer. So uh, we have that. Uh, I will go get the um, Nymphopolitanum, Bulbophyllum Nymphopolitanum out, which is my second favourite Bulbophyllum. This is not my actual favourite. My favourite is Lobby Eye. Uh, there's someone on a Facebook page that got me into it. I never heard of it before. And I said, hey, I'm going to this nursery. Look at the Bulbophyllums. What one shall I get? And they went, Lobby Eye, Lobby Eye. So I got the Lobby Eye. And then at first I didn't really know if I liked it or not. But then I saw a picture of the bloom. Well, I saw a picture of the bloom anyway. But then I changed my mind. I was thinking, oh my God. God, that is beautiful. So, Lobby is my first favourite. My second favourite is Nymphopolitanum, and my third favourite is this guy. I only have seven or eight Bulbophyllums, but yeah, this is my first blooming of a Bulbophyllum that has properly opened, like, well, a decent Bulbophyllum because I had a Bulbophyllum Falcatum in bloom, but they're not really showy, and I'm real proud of this one because this one didn't come with any spikes. So it's cool. All right, sorry about that. I just got interrupted by my neighbour talking about green bins going missing or something like that. So anyway, this is the Bulbophyllum Uh As you can see here, they have these growths. Now, I 
have a funny feeling these are spikes because when a bulb of Nymphopolitanum and blooms, it's a sequential bloomer, so it grows in a sheath like this and the buds break through when they're ready to break through. And plus, it's got so many brackets and nodes on it, it's hard not to be a spike. Well, actually, I'm not too sure, but someone said that, and uh, I'm asking your advice. Uh, Corel Fury, Fury, I don't know how you say your name. How do you say your name? Let me know. Uh, but yeah, is that growth tool spikes? Because you have a Nymphopolitanum, and I have no idea because I got this last year. So, yeah. Also, another exciting thing. Remember my project plan update, how it ooh, got no roots or nothing? Well, here she is today. Yes, my orchids have genders, like Miss Orchid Girl. Uh, but we shall go down here. Focus. And then, let's see. Root tits, root tits. I'm really happy about that. I'm going to wait till they get longer, then I'm going to water it. So, yeah, we have that. And it's got a decent sized growth on it. Also, uh, plant update from Rachel. You know, the unboxing I did where she gave me those streptocarpus cuttings and all of that stuff. Uh, this one is the DSZU Grandu. And I did the propagation and we have a baby plant the only one on one leaf but one's better than none I suppose the pink Layla over there is doing nothing as of yet but we shall see how that is doing uh, anything else I need to tell you oh yes um, also so we have the bulb from umbellatum in bloom that I'm super super happy about I have this uh, epidendrum up here it's the uh, crystal is it I don't know I've looked at the tag but let me find it You can see the buds at the top of the screen there. So that's the epidendrum. Something, something. I think it's Cristatum crossed with the Lency. This is the one that I don't think has a hybrid name. So when that blooms, it'll be great. And I can get it registered if it's not already registered. I'll have a look on the uh, RHS website. But if that's in bloom as well for my meeting, I will be super, super happy. Also, uh, something I'm not going to show you, but I will tell you about. My lobby eye has new eyes and new growth, so uh, I'm happy about that because she's a stubborn bitch and she does not really grow. And I'll show you this one because I think they may be spikes or maybe a spike. Nope, spikes. Uh, on uh, it's my only bulb phylum hybrid, which is Valley Isle Queen, and it's got nice deep red flowers. That's backlit, so let me just swing you round. You see that growth down there? I have two of those and it's quite thin so I'm suspecting it's a spike which is cool because they have these at the nursery that I go to in bloom and I asked if they had any for sale and they did. So that is cool. Uh, I'm just having a look in the greenhouse now. Sorry for the really rubbish <gasps> display. I'm sorry. What the hell? Okay, I'm bringing, I'm showing you this. I'm, I'm sorry this is going to be a long ass video, but I have lots and lots to show you. That fog carton is not in bloom yet. That might be in bloom. I'm going to have like loads of stuff to take. Wow. Okay. Everyone's going to be so impressed. Hello, hello, ah, no. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, guys. That crass because I said has two growths on it. Has three! Sorry for my shouting, I just get shout when I'm excited. Um, let's not break any of these. But I will bring you in, Bob Fallen Experts again, not me. But we have what? Oh, I nearly broke that then. <laughs> one growth there. Uh, that really long one there, that starts at the pseudo bulb, pseudo, pseudo bulb way over here. That's probably about two inches long now so I think that's a spike um, and the other one is somewhere uh, you don't really care but there is there's another one there so it's kind of like a maze of spikes or growths but I'm really happy about that one uh, and it's a nice looking plant as well it's not too shriveled which is surprising for my care we'll just tap the microphone sorry about that um, but yeah that's not in bloom yet I was hoping that this might have grown a bit more, but it hasn't, which is the Mastervalia I got from Rosemary. Um, so that's about it for today, you guys. 
No, it's not. Okay, I'm taking you out to the greenhouse. Bear with. My neighbours are actually in their garden right now, which is going to be really embarrassing for me. But that plant, the yellow one, I can't remember the tag, um, is in bloom today and I can show you the flowers at last. Nice sunny day here in rainy England. Um, the lantana is looking beautiful. All the flowers are starting to come out now. The sucks of fruit are still looking nice. But what I really want to show you is this beautiful yellow flowers there beautiful um so that wraps it up for today's video if you liked it comment rate subscribe um and in general i'll just see you next time so uh, thanks for watching this video and goodbye